What a sensational morning. Shit. Oh, yes. Yes. Woohoo. Oh, that is a good fish. Jesus. What the hell do I have here? Come on, is he good? Oh, you got it. Yep. Oh, that was so sick. And that's a good fillet right there. Look at that. Catch of the day. That is very good. Very, very good. What a sensational morning. We're on the yak today. We're actually solo on the new yak. As you can see, the sun is popping out and it is a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I am just using lures, so soft plastics, um, imitated lures such as mussels, crabs, all sorts of stuff. And today our target species is snapper. Obviously some pinky snapper. If there's some bigger models around, that would be awesome. Um, brim, salmon, pretty much anything that's around here, but obviously our goal is to get some pinky snapper. All right, the sun's come up a little bit now, and uh, we're pretty much at one of our first spots we want to uh, try. We're using a three inch curly tail, sort of clear plastic there to imitate the bait fish, paired with a one eighth jig head on a one hook. Pretty much, I used to fish all this, and there used to be a, a nice little jetty there. Um, they've obviously pulled that down, but we're just gonna cover all this area. Thank God we got the, uh, the sounder here so we can you know, do side scans and all sorts of stuff to see if there's some fish. But anyway, we're gonna start flicking and we'll work our way down and hopefully we can get into some nice pinky snapper. Put a bit of scent on, try a pink. As you can see, there's bait on the surface, but it looks like there's something just under them. They're a bit more down there. Oh, there we go. Yep, got a fish. And go around the pole, mate. Oh, got to tighten the drag. Oh, he's rubbing already. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I can see him. Come out, mate. There we go. We've got one. As you can see, we've got the fish there and there's fish on the sounder. So there's a bait ball there and there's fish just feeding off it. There's a little pinky. He's not a monster, but um, he definitely uh, smashed that plastic, that's for sure. Very dark in colour, that one there. Put him back. See you later. See so if we can get some bigger ones now. So there's obviously a little school there, so we'll just have a couple casts, see if we can get some bigger models. If we can't get some bigger models, we'll just um, move around and obviously try and find some. It's a little bit shallower where we are now, so I just got a, um, a muscle on. I'm going to see if we can uh, get some broom in here. Yep, got a fish. Oh, tiny. <laughs> it's a broom though. Look how silver this guy is. Jesus. Bring him around here so it doesn't splash the camera. Little brim. Oh, I'm gonna go on the other side and see if we can crack them because there's some very good fish. Oh, there's brim feeding even here. Watch this, see if we can get him. I like visual fishing, so I wanna stand up and see if he gets it. Watch for a little slick in the line or just a sudden pause, and that means there's a fish on it. I'm going to sneak up on them around this way. Yep, got one on. We'll take him out.
Don't go in there, mate. Come out here. There we go, he turned his head, so. Now we can just fight him out here, and it'll be sweet. He's not too bad. Boom. So there's our brim, another species ticked off the list. Actually, no, we've got a couple brim now, but um, first legal one anyway. Just crunch that, let's put him back. Ugh. All right, let's get some bigger ones. Oh, big brim, big brim. Eat it. Oh. Yep. Oh, I got him on. Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna do me. Oh, fuck. Don't know if you could see that on the, uh, the cam, but that was a bloody brood of a brim. Probably around that 40 centimeter mark or so. So I've just done my leader again, put a new one on, and um, we'll see if we can get his mate. Structure fishing for you. Risky business going in there again. But... Oh, oh. The hell do I have here? Why is it so heavy? Oh my God. What is this? I've never, this is going really weird guys. What the hell do I have here? On the muscle. Jesus. I don't want to go too hard on him though. Oh my God. Oh my God, I've seen it all. I have seen it all. Somehow, three meters of water before it even hit the bottom, I've got a bloody Fiddler rayon, banjo shark. Uh, now I've definitely ticked it off the box, that's for sure. On a bloody muscle vibe. Look at that, two to four pound rod. How am I gonna get this now? Ah. Well, at least we saw what he was. I would have been a bit cut if I uh, lost it and didn't see it. Look where I got him too. Ah, you... Come on, mate. Got him. Oh, you don't see that every day, do you? My bloody muscle lure. Put this guy back. You know what this is? Da -da -da -dun -dun. All right, let's put you back, mate. Oh, spewing it wasn't a good fish, but at least we saw what it was. That's the main thing. Oh, there's a brim feeding here. Come on, is he got, oh, you got it. Yep. Oh, that was so sick. No. Oh no, he went around. Oh no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> that was pretty cool. There we go. Another brimbo. So good, I just saw him eating. Chucked it right next to him, boom. And uh, he was on. Nice little healthy fish. Off you go, mate. How sick is this? This guy is launching a plane in the water right next to me, so I'm gonna get out of the way. It's turned out to be a really, really good day, guys. Looks like that little storm sort of cloud thing's way in front of us. So we covered that, now the sun's popping out. 
And uh, as you can see, it is a glass off. Pretty slow over there after we got a few fish, but um, we got a few, that's all right. Um, it's probably about eight in the morning at the moment, so uh, we've still got a lot of a lot of fishing time ahead of us. So what I'm gonna do is just cover this area here. There's a few boats just moored. So I'm gonna try casting under them, um, around them, see if I can mark some fish, and then I'll go in towards the river and see if I can get some nice pinky snapper over there too. So we're just gonna have a, have a look over here. There'll be some very big brim here. So I've got that on. I guess what I'm looking for is uh, Obviously I'm looking for the boats, but I'm looking for the ones that have a lot of muscles and structure underneath it, I guess. <gasps> oh, there's a fish going for it. Jesus. It's a washing machine in here. And uh, got a nice little fish on. It's a bit better. Not bad, not bad. Little pinky. See you later, buddy. You can see there's a there's a couple fish on this pylon here. So that's just going straight down. Yep. Oh, already. I just turned my yak around. Oh. Yep. Fish on. Oh, Jesus. He chomped me. I'm gonna retire already. All right, so I've just put a three inch paddle tail in like a, like a natural bloodworm sort of color now. There's a bait bull just under us, but there's no fish on it. And uh, we'll flick out that pontoon again. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Yep, already. Nice little, ooh, nice little head shakes. And little runs. Yeah, nice fish. In the net. Whew. Not bad, not bad. Got him good, that one. There's another, another nice little pinky. Boom. Mix our plastic up, Just push it up a little bit. All right, let's try right here. Right on the pylon. Drop him down. Yep, fish on. Oh, nice little runs, this fish. Oh yeah, nice pinky. There we go. Here we go. So if you're wondering what net I'm actually using, it's the Incu net from Incu Squid Tackle. Um, sensational. Obviously designed for squid, but it is awesome in a kayak, especially when you're chasing brim and pinkies and all those sort of species that you don't require a massive net to get in the way. Put your back, mate. Off he goes. Oh, already. Jesus. Oh, get you out of there, mate. Oh, he might be wrapped around. Or not. I've got a feeling he's wrapped around that pole something. Oh, I got him out now. I think it's a good fish though. It's got weight on it. it. Must be wrapped around his fins or something. Oh, saw colour. Oh, nice fish. Probably the biggest one today, I think.
Yes. Come on. I don't know, mid thirties, but uh, how sick are those blue dots on him? Awesome colour, let's put him back. See you later mate. Oh, already. Jesus, just came out of nowhere. Now I've got to watch these waves. It's both zooming all over the place. Turn my yak around. Oh, oh. Jesus. <coughs> oh my God. Another fish on the board. Not a bad size one too, so. All nice school size fish. Catch you later, mate. Oh. It's midday now, so time for some lunch. First, need some water. It's bloody hot. So got that there. So what I've made, it's a bit hard to see. So it's a salad with tuna, carrot, rice, almonds. So it's pretty healthy. Nice little area to have lunch. Right in the shade. We'll finish this up and get straight back into it. Oh, fish on. Ugh. Oh, got a brim. The hell? A brim, man. Jagged him. I wonder why he went weird. Well, look how silver he is. Oh, he just shadow me. Got a brim. <laughs> See ya. Thought he went a bit odd. All right. Let's play the music again. Oh, oh, that's a good take, good fish. Oh, that is a good fish. Jesus. Gotta take him out. Jesus. Come on, come out, mate. Oh, it's a good fish. And uh, the good thing is I took him out of all that structure. So I'm fighting him. There's a pole next to me, but it's got a bit of room to play around with now. I'll just go a bit forward now because he's getting a bit close to that pole. Must be a good fish. Definitely the, the biggest of the, the day. Oh. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yes. Yes. Woohoo. Now that is what you call a pinky. Look at that. There we go. That's uh, over 40, that one there. Just smashed it. And as you can see, it's a bit hard on the GoPro, but it's a nice little fish. It's probably, actually I got my tape measure. Let's, uh, let's measure him. He's got the brag mat there. Perfect length for this sort of stuff. So yeah, 40, 42 centimeters. So awesome size pinky snapper, that one there. This one here is a beautiful, healthy fish. And uh, this one's coming home for dinner, I reckon. Oh. 
Oh. Jesus. Far out. That's a good run. On the bloody vibe. Look how far he's went out. What do you reckon, Brim or Pinky? You got five seconds to comment down below what you think it is. Doing some good runs. It is a Pinky. It's actually not too bad either. Look at that, on the vibe man. It was pretty slow for a while, and then out of nowhere, he just, poof, just whacked it. As you can see, the vibe's just hanging out of his mouth there. Little metal vibe. Weird tail. But that's another good pinky snapper. On the light stuff, two to four pound stick on that one. Oh my God. Not sure if you can see that. The treble hook's ac actually snapped. So there's a little piece of hook. If I can get it for you, without him biting me. Look at that. Piece of treble hook. All right, so we've got our plastic on. Put our plastic here. This is literally where we're working our vibe before. So if we get a fish on this cast, um, kind of proves a bit of a point that plastics are better. Yep, fish on. Well, there you go. Plastics for the win. Decent fish. Yippah. And there's our fish on the plastic. I think we've got our fair share of fish. I think we've had a, a, a decent session. So um, we're gonna head back in now. But there we go guys, another little session on the yak. We came here early morning and it, uh, it's about three o'clock now, so pretty decent day out on the water. We've got some brim, pinkies. Alrighty, we're back in now. We've got our pinky snapper. I kept a few for a feed. Gonna sharpen up the knives. So I've got them in beautiful freezer bags. That's a really good size fish, that one there. Awesome size pinky snapper there. So awesome, uh, awesome quality. And that is a perfect table size fish right there. We've obviously got the, your standard size, so that's about um, low 30s. They're still very good table size fish. So what we're gonna do is fill up this bad boy up. I'll show you two different methods. So first method is just cutting from its head down up to its gut section, just like that. This part of the meat you don't really wanna eat. What you, wanna, what you can do from there is just Run your knife along its backbone there. You can just keep on doing that. What I like to do is just cut all that section out. And I'll show you what I mean. 
So that's our fillet there. In that little part is all its guts and bones and all that some nasty stuff. But as you can see, we've got all the meat off of that. And that's a good fillet right there. Now what we want to do, just cut down until you hit the, the skin and the scales. And just run your knife along that. And there's our skin all off. And our awesome fillet. So we're gonna fillet the rest of the snapper now. We'll show you the fillets and then what we're gonna do is cook them up. So we've got some nice fillets now. So what I'm gonna do is quickly rinse them off. Yes, salt water is better. However, I've only got fresh. So I'm gonna rinse them off now and put it in this bowl right here. So now we've got our fillets in this bowl. So this is a drainer. So obviously got our liquid in here. Gonna empty that, empty that out and put these on a plate with some paper towel. All right, they're on the paper towel now. So we're just gonna put it on top of it too. Just take out all the excess water off it. As you can see, we've got our fillets all done, ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop them up and uh, I'm thinking of a, uh, a snapper sort of curry with some rice or you know, something like that. So give that a crack. So first we're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. Like so. First we're gonna add a couple of pinches of salt. We're gonna use a bit of paprika, pepper, bit of garlic powder, bit of avocado smash. I love this stuff on eggs and stuff, but it's really good with fish too. Bit of this stuff. It's like a barbecue sort of seasoning. What else do I have in here that I want to, want to use? Yeah. Now I like sesame oil, so put a little bit of that in it. And a little bit of uh, oil. It's looking good, looking good. A teaspoon of um, soy sauce. Just mix it all up. And that is an awesome marinade. Right there, just like that. That's all mixed, ready to go. It looks like chicken. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut up some onions, garlic, um, and whack it straight in the pan. Got our onions. What I wanna do is just uh, cut it up into little pieces, like little cubes and stuff. Doesn't really matter what shape, just as long as they're pretty small. My eyes are burning. Looking all right. We've got our onions all diced up now. Gonna put a bit of oil on. Parsley, coriander. Look at that. That looks good as. Bit of sweet chili sauce on the side. And there we go. Just like that guys, that is catch of the day. Pinky snapper, got rice, bit of sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. Just falls, falls into pieces, that's how good it's cooked. Bit of rice. That is very good, very, very good. So many flavors. It's like an Asian fusion with a little bit of, you know, um, curry paste into it. Really, really good. I rate this a lot, actually. So there you go. As simple as that, just find random stuff in the cupboard, chuck it in, and it turns out to a treat. <laughs> no, this, this came out really, really good, guys. So uh, yeah, if you just if you want to give it a go, just pretty much just do what I did, um, and uh, it came out a treat. I'm gonna finish eating this. Hope your legends enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Comment your thoughts and what you'd like to see in next episodes. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.